It's a little tricky to read the time on this thing. You got to stare at it and go, where's the hour hand and where's the minute hand? You know, it, it takes a while to read the time off this thing. But yeah, you got to admire the engineering of the thing. It really is uh, a very pretty, uh, a very pretty design. 12.53. No, no, it says it's coming up on 12.54. Yeah, okay. So where's the second hand? Coming up in 40 seconds, see? And, and the numbers are not readable at all. Like the 1, 2, there's no 3. Then there's a 4, which is not really an IV. The 4 is not even an IV. It's not even Roman numerals. It's like somebody's interpretation of Roman numerals. Because if you take a look right there, see, right there, see, this is the, this is the road train, the, the standard road train geek, geeky pencil. There you go. There's your road train right there. And if you look really closely, right there, see, that says it's four stripes. It's not IV. Over here, for like, you know, this is VI, this is six. Then you get a straight bar. Then you get, for, is it, what is this? If this is six, that's supposedly seven, so that's supposedly eight. So that eight is... V I I I. I'm okay with that. Eight nine. X is the ten. And so, the thing that gets me is if you had room for this over here, right? You got room for V I I I. What 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 happened to the room for I V? <laughs> why why doesn't this go one two? Okay, solid bar there for the three, and then IV. This could be a V. It could have been a V, VI. Whatever the case may be, uh, it's funky. It's kind of funky in its design, right? And, of course, on the back, you've got your... you got your counterweight there spinning around. You know, doing its thing. What does that label say, anyway? Japanese movement, the band, the bow of a band is made in China. So the leather band is made in China. But the, the movement's made in Japan by Bulova. That's what it says on that label there. Anyway... It's now set to the correct time. And I guess if you were to look very, very closely in there, you can see bits and parts are ticking. There's any bitty little bits in there that you're going tick, tick, tick. You can just barely see them. Not the best lighting, I know. Somewhere in there is a little spring thingy which is going tick, 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 tick. Yeah. Oh, 100 meters underwater? Forget it. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even wear this if I was washing my hands. Washing my hands? I take this thing off. There's no freaking way. I, I don't. <laughs> there is no freaking way you wear this anywhere around water. Forget it, you know. I don't give a damn. You want to get a waterproof watch? You get a Tudor. You get a Tudor Black Bay. Or you go the distance and get a Rolex, and then you look like a total freaking idiot because you got to be a moron to buy a Rolex. Um, you know, Rolex, the corporation that is a uh, self- but it, they describe themselves as a non-profit. Rolex is a non-profit corporation. 
yeah, uh-huh. Where's all that money do? Where's all that money go? I, I don't know. I think you got to be a moron to buy a Rolex now. Like 25, maybe 30 years ago, you know, a GMT Master II, I had one. I had a Rolex GMT Master II about uh, 30 years ago. And after a couple of years, I just walked into a pawn shop one day with the box and the paperwork, and I said, you know, give me 5000 bucks for it. And they said, how about 4500 I said, sold, done. And I walked out the door at 4500 bucks, and I went and I got myself a better watch. And my version of a better watch was just about anything. So you got to be a bit of a jerk to buy a Rolex. That's what I think. But Tudor... You're laughing. Anyway, uh, it's a very pretty watch. I like it. And I actually wear it all the time. I do. I wear it all the time. Unless I'm washing my hands or going anywhere near water, forget it. You know, you do not wear this going into the shower. <laughs> you just don't. You gotta be, you know, yeah, it'll never work again. 